okay guys uh, now let's solve this particular problem and this is again going to be a relative uh, speed problem but slightly different now uh, two trains are moving in opposite direction that's the new thing opposite direction one at 60 kmph another one is 90 kmph the lengths are uh, respectively 1.1 and 0.9 kilometers uh, respectively obviously the time taken by the slower train to cross the faster train but the time taken by the faster train obviously will be to cross the slower train because th this is the problem it should be faster and should be slower anyways uh, that's the question problem anyways uh, in second is uh, provided okay so two trains are migrating in the opposite direction so this is the train one this direction and uh, let's say train two is in this direction so this is kind of new situation we till now solve problems that both of them are moving in the same direction and obviously whatever whether they are both of moving in the same direction or they are moving in opposite direction obviously as both of them are moving we need to find the relative speed of train uh, with each other right now uh, however the relative speed calculation will be slightly different because uh, now I'm going to tell you a very important point and that is if two trains are moving in the same direction the relative speed so if they are moving in the same direction like this the relative speed will be negative so we will just subtract the speed of the train to get the relative speed but if the two trains are moving in opposite direction we need to add the speed of those trains to get the actual relative speed right so moving same direction to get relative speed we need to subtract them moving in the opposite direction to get the speed we need to add those speeds right this is a very important concept here right so let's say here uh, both of them are moving in opposite direction to get the relative speed relative speed here what we need to do we need to add the speed 60 plus 90 so it is 150 kilometer per hour right now we need to find the answer in seconds so let's convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second for our calculation easiness so 150 to convert kilometer per hour directly into meter per second what we should do you all know that we have done several problems we should multiply that value into 5 by 18 and what we get the answer here we get it uh, let's say So this is going to be 125 divided by 3. This is the relative speed in meter per second. Okay. Now uh, the question. Their length are 1.1 and 0 0.9. Now this is the speed, relative speed of the train that we get. But what we need to find, we need to find the time taken by uh, the faster train to cross the smaller, uh, slower train. Right. So definitely we need to find the distance traveled by the trains. Right. Now again I've told you the distance traveled by the train when the both of the trains are moving is definitely going to be the length or addition of the length of the both two trains, right? So the length of T1 is 1.1, the length of T2 is 0 0.9. So the total distance covered here So total distance covered here will be 1.1 plus 0 0.9 here is 2. Sorry, it, I think it's kilometer. Yeah. So it definitely is going to be 2000 meter is the distance, right? So 2000 meter, here is the distance that is covered now. Okay. So what we need to find now, we need to find the time taken to cover it. Now we know that the relative speed is 125 by 3 meter per second. We know the total distance that is going to be covered. So what is the time required to cover it? It's very basic now, right? So, they cover 125 by 3 meter in 1 second. So, how many seconds required to cover 2000 meter, right? That's, that's the simple case. So, this is the 1 second so to cover, sorry, 1 minute, 2000 meter we need to simply 
do this because why because this is the dis this is this is the total distance and we need the total velocity is 125 by 3 so we need to divide this by this so actually uh, the situation will uh, turn like that and divide or multiply it by 25 so it is going to be 5 this is going to be 80 now 16 so 3 into 16 is going to be 48 right so it is going to be 48 seconds so what is the answer let's find out whether it's 40 48 seconds yes it is so this is the answer C that is going to be the time taken by the faster train to cross the slower train right so the take home message again that if two trains are crossing in opposite direction the relative speed calculation will be additive of the speed of those two trains and as those two trains are crossing each other uh, the total distance covered will be the addition of the length of both both two trains right so that's it and i hope that's helpful